Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add a code computer to Gorilla Tag Fan Game. Now, this is just like Gorilla Tag, it has codes that you can enter in and stuff. It also has public lobbies, and this allows you to leave the rooms and stuff. Most, if not all, of these scripts were made by Flimsy, so shout out to him. The package will be in my Discord server, link in the description, and also in a Google Drive file, link also in the description. If you need any help, join my Discord server, link in the description. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. So here we are in our game. Now, first of all, go download the package from one of the links in the description, and it'll give you this code folder here. Now, when you drag it in, you'll see, and for me, I just need to import Text Mesh Pro. Make sure to import that if you haven't already. So now, once you drag it in, you'll see that all of the textures are pink. So what you wanna do, just make some materials and put the materials on it. So go in your materials folder if you have one, and just make some materials. So I'm gonna do black for the keys, and then make sure to right-click, prefab, and unpack completely. And now for the black, I'm I'm just gonna put it on my keys so i'm just gonna select all of my keys and just drag on black there and for this i'm just gonna drag the black onto the back and then i'll make a blue material and i'll drag the blue material onto there now the font to this will be the default font which is fine for now but if you want you can just open all of these up select all the fonts and change it to whatever font you want just so it looks a bit nicer now everything should already be set up but just to check that it is make sure that on all the keys it has the server script script on it and then it has join room set to enter and then each of them have the letter and the server text is set to this which is here as you can see if we type in it it types also make sure that backspace has server back and make sure on the backspace you set the hand tag to whatever tag you have so i'm gonna do hand tag and then make sure to go to your left and right hand controller go to tag Tag, add tag make a tag called hand tag and put it here make sure on left hand you add a layer make it called left hand and do the same for right hand make it called right hand and then on both of these make sure you click add components sphere collider and then turn on this trigger and make the radius 0.06 that's the hand setup but now we're going to need the buttons to leave a room and the buttons to join a public lobby now you actually won't need to do this because for you it'll already be set up but me showing you how to do this kind of just helps with how you know how it's set up so then join room trigger and then players per room make sure that that is set to whatever your max players per room is to make sure your players per room there matches the photon vr manager max players per room that you have there and then if you go to the leave button it should have the leave room script and the hand tag should once again be set to whatever hand tag you have here so if it's not then just set it and then one more thing that you need to do go to your photon vr manager and turn off join room on connect then just save and there we go let's test out the game now as you can see when you load in you won't have your player model because just like in gorilla tag you will load in not connected to a room so you will need to add an off line rig if you want me to make a tutorial on that make sure to comment down below asking for it but now you can either type in a room or i'm just going to join a public room now as you can see we join a public room and we're in a public room and our model loads in then let's test out a normal room let's just type in a random code then click enter and now as you can see when we click enter it joins the room but now let's say we want to go from a private room to a public. It won't actually work because just like in Gorilla Tag, you'll need to leave the room first and then join the public room. And there we go. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below some video ideas that you want me to make. I might now make an offline rig video. Also, please consider becoming a channel member because it's only $2 a month and it helps me out so much. You also get so many awesome perks like getting to see my videos early and like getting a shout out at the end of every single video that I make, just like the people on the screen right now. If you need any help, Help with any of my videos make sure to join my discord server link in the description and just join to be part of my awesome community please like and subscribe because it helps me out so much thank you all so much for watching and yeah guys that's it for me today peace